Hey Truffed Up guys and gals, I took the most requested ideas from all my video comments and asked in a poll which one you, my amazing subscribers and viewers, most preferred in the next video. And building the next generation EV truck was your top pick. So in this video, we're gonna deep dive into what's coming and not just blind speculation or clickbait, but what are we already seeing accelerate and what current manufacturers are testing the waters and teasing their customers with. You love trucks, all trucks. You haul and tow, snow wheel and off-road, take the kiddies to softball practice and your sweetie to lover's lookout. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. Every truck manufacturer, along with battery producers, are bringing their own take on electrification to the forefront. Rivian just announced their next generation R2 and R3 midsize SUV platform in an attempt to reach a broader market with more affordable pricing. But no truck configuration was unveiled. Still, changes are afoot, and Rivian isn't slowing down in its R&D on the R1T. Ram is about to roll out their REV 1500, and then in the following year, the Ram Charger EV Series Hybrid. And it is clear they are focusing their efforts on overcoming range worries while still delivering on what customers expect from the Ram truck brand. GM, although pushing back their entire EV lineup rollout dates, still plan to introduce the Silverado RST and the GMC Sierra EV Denali. With both demonstrating sheer battery volume to exceed the current EV truck offerings by simply strong arming their way to the Range King finish line. Still, hidden within their offerings are truly innovative gems that deserve a lot more recognition. Ford has kept the secretive T3 project tight to its chest, which Jim Farley teased when he said, we haven't shown anyone the truck yet because we don't want to give an advantage to our competition, but it is a built Ford tough, you know, a real work vehicle. But he also said this, it'll have technology no one's ever seen in any of these EV trucks. And we have many hints as to what that tech might look like. Tesla's Cybertruck literally broke the mold on the traditional truck and has basically thrown down the gauntlet for every other EV truck maker regarding four-wheel drive-by-wire variable steering, truck rigidity, storage and bed benefits such as the secure vault retractable tonneau cover, and the idea of add-on range in the form of a range extender battery pack in the bed. So where is all this going? What will this all mean for you as the competition heats up? We'll start with the boring basics, but still incredibly important. And that's, of course, range and battery life in the next generation EV truck. As I've discussed in previous videos on the Ram Charger and on the one big change that will make EV trucks the dominant truck in the future, I'll provide links in the description below and at the end of this video for those. I pointed out that battery life worries will soon be a thing of the past, well, actually, sooner than expected, the biggest supplier of lithium-ion batteries to Tesla, GM, and Ford, CATL is the name of that company, just announced that its newest LFP, or lithium-ion phosphate battery, is so reliable that it is bringing its breakthrough research to the retail end. It is saying the end manufacturer could warranty its battery to 1 million miles, or 1.6 million kilometers, with zero battery degradation for over 1,000 battery cycles. This would mean a 15-year warranty. These are absolutely mind-bending claims of reliability that no internal combustion engine, either gas or diesel, has ever been able to offer. One might argue that batteries are not the electric motors themselves. Of, of course not. But as we know historically, electric motors are already more reliable than internal combustion ones. The worry has always been underlying fuel source. This basically puts that worry to rest. Now, when it comes to range, the new tech coming out of Panasonic, CATL, LG Energy, Tesla, and other major battery makers, battery density is increasing at a rapid rate 
meaning more kilometers driven per kilogram of battery. On top of that, research from Stardust Insights shows that solid state is finally reaching milestones no one expected so soon. Either way, the reality is that the need for a hybrid setup or range extender likely won't be necessary in the future EV truck. However, that doesn't mean it won't be available. High density, lower weight, tidy tanks or range extenders that can either be purchased from the manufacturer or from aftermarket producers of battery storage units such as Enphase, SolarEdge, or Tesla will likely be coming to market anyway. And here's the reason why. Well, first, Tesla already produces one. They've got this $16,000 US add-on for the Cybertruck, but little is known about this yet. But if battery range is no longer a problem in the future, why bother with one? Well, think off-road, think overland, and think long distance towing. With such an add-on, the sky is the limit for where you can take your ride, your fifth wheel, or your toy hauler. EV trucks might become the preferred overland off-road choice, especially when a few more upcoming EV tech gems that I'll discuss shortly come into play. The problem with that is that currently, no range extender battery can simply be plugged into the truck and then drawn from while driving, since there is only one charging point on the vehicle for the CCS and or North American Charging Stand or NAX outlet. So here is another innovation we can expect. Next gen EV trucks will have an auxiliary plug directly drawn on while on the road, rather than having to plug in when your charge is low and then have to wait for the range extender batteries to charge up the primary ones. The moment one truck maker adds a direct auxiliary port, the rest will have no choice but to follow suit if they wish to compete. But there might be something even more exciting hidden in Ford's T3 Project's patent filings, as reported by Gear Control and Motor Trend. It seems that the next-gen Ford truck will have a front and rear casting somewhat similar to Tesla. Both are directly attached to a structural battery pack. But what is really interesting is that unlike Tesla, this frame-encased grid configuration further expands on Ford's modular battery approach. This is actually a big deal. If and when batteries need replacing, Tesla, for example, has one glued mass of batteries and the whole thing has to be replaced. Both GM and Ford have stuck to modular units, meaning if and when a battery pack needs replacing, the owner can simply replace a portion. Better yet, that pack becomes standardized. Imagine a software update along with new battery pack modules years after buying your truck and owning the same vehicle with more range than what it was originally purchased with. Next gen EV trucks will change the charging point location. This is almost guaranteed. Expect all new EV trucks to have the charging point move to the very front or very back of the truck. The front, of course, makes the most sense being that if a truck has the tailgate down, the port would be inaccessible. With NACS becoming the standard, and with most truck makers adopting that outlet by 2025, all next gen EV trucks will need better charge port access for a growing variety of charge cable lengths and charging station types. Another anticipated change is one that was actually one of the most highly anticipated features for the Cybertruck that didn't make it to final production. And that was the hope for a drop-down mid-gate that would have allowed the entire bed to be used as a camper, utilizing the retractable tonneau vault as a canopy and along with drop-down seats in the back, could create a complete climate-controlled sleeping enclosure. The Silverado EV RST will have a drop-down mid-gate, but with no angular vault-like tonal design like the Cybertruck, it would require a custom canopy to create the same. So expect to see more mid-gates, more drop-downs, and more camping configurations of future EV trucks. And if you dig a little deeper, you might find a couple more gems hidden. The Ford T3 project yet again gives us a sneak peek into what's to come. Motor Trend uncovered yet another patent filing exposing a revolutionary new front design that also gives a pile of hints to the body concept, which we'll focus on later. The utility and massive application of such a storage area as being shown in these patent filings 
would be game changing. And that brings us to two more developments that will make the next gen EV trucks absolutely outstanding. But first, I hope that you will take a moment to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon below since this channel is only a dozen or two subscribers away from its first amazing milestone of reaching 1,000 subscribers. I am so over the moon with gratitude. I hope it is you that helps me get there. Thank you so much. Okay, enough of that, back to it. I mentioned two developments that will revolutionize next gen EV trucks. Here's the first. In combination with that auxiliary power outlet that I mentioned earlier and a large surface area on an overland trim, such as the Vault or an add-on with the RST Silverado EV, solar panels suddenly change the playing field on how versatile an EV truck can truly become. Elon Musk at one point on X had indicated that the Cybertruck would have the option of solar power via the vault tunnel, adding up to 25 miles of range. I'm not sure if that's mathematically possible with such a heavy vehicle, but as battery density and range improve, weight drops with less batteries needed, which are the largest weight component of an electric vehicle. So, technically, that improves the math with each kilogram shed. Imagine your next-gen EV truck parked in the sun at your favorite hiking trail or fishing hole and coming back after a full day to see an extra 25 miles of range on the needle. And the second new reality is that multiple trim levels are finally on the way. Like the traditional truck, a single cab two-door long box or a super crew with the same are something the truck community has been begging for from EV trucks. As towing and hauling ranges improve, that makes more sense. And there's no doubt that the big players like GM, Ram, and Ford are already considering this. So expect multiple bed and cab configurations in the upcoming build and price menus moving forward. Drive-by wire, four-wheel and variable steering are now on the road thanks to Tesla. If competition wants to keep up, these will have to be offered. For the next gen EV truck, these are going to be standard fare. And sometimes the first one out the gate with new tech benefits the most in the market because of being a leader, but not always. What we found out back in the 1970s, of course, with the advent of the Japanese passenger car was innovators and disruptors take good ideas and vastly expand upon them often outpacing the creator of the original idea. For example, take the almost magical creation of the octavalve heat pump for Tesla vehicles. Resistive heating, basically a glorified baseboard heater, was what heated an EV. Tesla not only simplified a design to the, to the point of eliminating countless unnecessary parts via wizard-like engineering, they took heat pump tech and stuffed it into a car. But now Ford has taken that same concept and expanded on it with their vapor injection heat pump system, basically turbocharging the coolants and vastly improving efficiency. This now is already in every trim of the Lightning for 2024. So expect further use of this technology in every other lineup. Another amazing innovation will be in whether or not the driver will have to drive their truck on long trips at all. Level two autonomy is already here, but level three and beyond is not far off. Jim Farley has hinted at this several times, as has Mary Barra, CEO of GM. But the biggest change of all to the next gen EV truck is reimagining what they look like, and how they travel through the air. As we know, the Cybertruck has already successfully implemented this, but Musk is not alone. Getting back to Ford's T3 project, here is what Jim Farley had to say. The new truck built here was designed from the ground up to be incredibly efficient to manufacture, and when you see it, it won't look like a normal vehicle. It's a marvel of simplification. Interesting. And aerodynamics has finally become important for pickup trucks. Next-gen EV trucks will be designed with a significantly reduced coefficient drag, better incorporation of the truck bed and the cab, better covering and containment of the bed and materials inside, vast improvements to the truck's rigidity, which improves almost every aspect of a truck's performance. It's an exciting time, and we are about to see a new era in truck manufacturing that we haven't seen since the advent of the pickup truck. If there are innovations that I've missed or ideas you have for the next gen EV truck, I'd love to hear about them. So please, Keep the comments coming. As always, I've provided links to related articles, websites, and videos that were used in the creation of this video for your reference. Your support, donations, and comments have been amazing. Thank you for watching.